Is there more to operating a bed and breakfast than putting up a sign in front of my house? What forms and permits are required to open up a bed and breakfast? Well, good day and welcome to Keystone HDC podcast number 22. My name is Jerry McPherson, and today we are going to continue looking at the opening and operating of a bed and breakfast, specifically the paperwork. To open and operate a bed and breakfast, you need to take care of some business issues first before you can go about taking care of the business of caring for your guests. Wouldn't it be great if all you had to do to operate a bed and breakfast was to open the door to weary travelers and invite them in to enjoy your hospitality? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. There is business that has to be taken care of before you can even consider inviting in your first guests. A bed and breakfast is a business, so making sure all your I's are dotted and T's are crossed is essential. You don't want government officials knocking at your door while you're serving oatmeal. To ensure everything is done correctly, talk with and use your professionals, your accountant, your lawyer, consultants or brokers, as well as other bed and breakfast owners. Make sure you have all the accounts and paperwork you need before opening day, and it's a good idea to mark any necessary renewal dates on your account. Here's a checklist you can use as a guideline, but remember, it's just a guideline. Your location may require different or additional forms or permits. Business license, a registered business name, certificate of occupancy, sign permits if required, account for transient or lodging taxes, a sales tax account, federal and state or provincial tax ID, business checking account, a merchant account, and this is to process debit or credit cards, a health department inspection, fire department inspection, a food services certificate, if required, insurance, business insurance, liability insurance, property insurance, property management or registration and accounting software. In a few weeks, we'll go into a little more detail of the importance of this type of software. And a liquor license and liquor liability insurance, if applicable. Now, as I said, these are just guidelines. You'll have to consult with your local professionals to make sure you have all the proper forms and permits. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, that's our first look at opening and operating a B&B. Over the next four weeks, we'll go into a little more detail. If you have any interesting stories about the paperwork end of operating a bed and breakfast and would like to share, or have any questions or feedback, you can leave them in the comment section of the show notes. A PDF of each episode can also be found at the show notes at our website, keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com, and click blog, or go directly to keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash blog. All right, let's continue to work together to put heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. To open an opernate, making sure all your I's are dotted and your teats, T's, certificate of occupancy, certificate of occupancy.